In-flight fire is the most critical emergency during flight operation. If anything in the airplane catches fire, it becomes catastrophically uncontrollable in a short time. So it should be extinguished right away, or it's going to be raised against time. Pilots have only minutes to get the airplane on the ground safely. Hello, I'm Captain JK. Today, I'm going to talk about in-flight fire. Even though smoking is strictly prohibited in the airplane by law, but still some passengers are smoking in the lavatory. Not only that reason, we still have chances of getting fire in the air. Fire in the cabin. There are lots of different causes to catch a fire. It could be oven in the galley, trash can in the lavatory, lithium batteries from power banks or cell phones. Or sometimes a short circuit in the electrical system. Among them, electrical fire is the most critical case. Because most of the time, there are hidden fire. So I think it likely that they might grow to even worse case. But anyway, once they are found, we can approach to them and put out the fire. And if the space can be left unattended like crew bunk, lavatory, there are smoke detectors and automatic fire extinguishing systems installed. There's a minimum fire extinguisher requirement by aviation law. As you can see the table, there should be at least five fire extinguishers in Boeing 787. But normally, airline companies put more of them in the cabin. And also, cabin attendants are periodically trained to cope with in-flight fire. Let's take a look at it. Okay, then what do we do if they are unapproachable, like engines or cargo bays? Unapproachable fire. Engines. Inside the engines are very hot, because many turbines are spinning in very high speed as fast as thousands of RPM for a long time up to like 15 to 16 hours. Also, the temperature of combustion chamber can go up to 1700 degrees Celsius. It's more than 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Nevertheless, today's commercial jet engines are insanely reliable. But as nothing is perfect, we still have a chance to get engine fire in flight. Like Hudson Miracles in 2009. Birds. Birds can cause engine fire or multiple failures in the complex inside the engines can also make an engine to catch fire. There are multiple sensors inside the engine to sense the unusual heat, which is fire. And there are two extinguisher bottles and these can be used in either engine. When fire is detected inside the engine, it gives a fire alarm to pilots. Then how do pilots extinguish engine fire? As you see this switch in the cockpit, these handles are called engine fire switches. With the fire alarm, Boeing 787 issues electronic checklist to pilots, and pilots are to strictly follow the checklist. While performing the engine fire checklist, the fire handle should be pulled by pilots, and it does the same function of fire extinguisher handle, and then two individual fire agents will be discharged throughout the engine. Then, most of the fire will be put out. Cargo bays. 
Sometimes we can see pilots go down to cargo bays or landing gear bays. In the movie, I mean. Is it really possible? Nope, not at all. Unlike the engine fire sensors, detectors in cargo bays will sense smoke. There are three to five fire agent bottles for cargo bays. Because space of cargo bays are generally bigger than engines, and there are normally three separated bays in wide body airplanes. If there's a fire one of the bays, all fire agent bottles are discharged into the bay. Pilots are to start emergency diversion. If the fire smoke persists anywhere in the airplane, and pilots have only 20 minutes at the longest to get the airplane on the ground safely. Maybe this is why we should not smoke in the airplane. I'm Captain JK. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.